brought to you by Tailbot Bedtime Stories, personalized tales for kids aged 0 to 8. Want to create a bedtime story for your child? Visit tailbotaicom create. Now, let's sit back and enjoy the story. Ben and the Whimsical Waterfall of Wonka's Chocolate Factory A Special Bedtime Story for Ben Once upon a time, nestled in a quaint little town, there lived a curious seven-year-old boy named Ben. Ben lived with his loving grandpa, a man filled with countless enchanting tales of a mysterious place known as Wonka's Chocolate Factory. One blustery winter's evening, as the snowflakes danced outside the window, Ben sat nestled in his bed, listening attentively to his grandpa. Ben, Grandpa began, with a twinkle in his eye, did I ever tell you about the day I visited Wonka's chocolate factory? No, Grandpa. Ben exclaimed, his eyes wide with anticipation. Grandpa cleared his throat and started recounting his magical adventure to a mystical place filled with rivers of molten chocolate, trees bearing cotton candy leaves, and bushes sprouting jelly bean flowers. Ben listened in awe, his imagination set ablaze with visions of this whimsical world. As Grandpa finished his tale, he winked at Ben and handed him an old, crumpled ticket. This, he proclaimed, is a golden ticket to Wonka's chocolate factory. Ben's eyes grew wide as he gingerly held the ticket. It was real. He was going to visit the world he had only dreamed of, the world of Wonka's chocolate factory. The next morning, Ben and Grandpa embarked on their journey to the chocolate factory. As the majestic gates of the factory swung open, they stepped into a world beyond their wildest imagination. They marveled at the chocolate waterfalls cascading with molten cocoa, the marshmallow mushrooms, and the licorice vines. Suddenly, Ben slipped and found himself tumbling into the most glorious sight, the chocolate waterfall. He was swept away by the rush of the chocolate river, but to his surprise, he found himself not panicking but laughing. As he floated down the chocolate river, he called out, Grandpa, I'm okay. This is fun. From the corner of the factory, a peculiar man with a top hat emerged. It was none other than Wonka, the mastermind behind the magical factory. He was amused to see Ben in the waterfall, but was quick to extend a helping hand. Once safe and covered in chocolate, Ben blushed, I'm sorry, Mr. Wonka. I didn't mean to fall in. Wonka simply laughed, that's all right, Ben. Adventures are often unexpected. As the day progressed, Ben and Grandpa had countless adventures, tasting the gumdrop pebbles, bouncing on marshmallow trampolines, and even meeting the Oompa Loompa, who sang humorous rhymes as they worked. Towards the end of the day, Wonka approached Ben and Grandpa with a somber face. It turns out, there was just enough chocolate left to make one last batch of Wonka's famous chocolate bars. Both Ben and Grandpa had a chance to make a bar each. Suddenly, Ben remembered his friends back home, who had listened jealously to Grandpa's tales of the chocolate factory. He thought about how much they would love to taste the famous Wonka chocolate bars. So, instead of making a chocolate bar for himself, Ben decided to make one for his friends. Wonka, witnessing this act of generosity, was touched. He commended Ben for his selflessness and presented him with a surprise, a lifetime supply of Wonka chocolates. Your act of sharing truly embodies the spirit of Wonka's chocolate factory, Ben, Wonka declared, his eyes gleaming with pride. Ben, overwhelmed with joy, thanked Wonka as he hugged his grandpa tight. As they returned home, the sun set on what had been the most magical day of Ben's life. That night, he fell asleep dreaming of chocolate waterfalls and marshmallow mushrooms. When he shared his chocolates with his friends the next day, their joy and gratitude made everything even sweeter. Ben realized that sharing didn't mean having less, it meant spreading happiness, which was far more rewarding. And so, the tale of Ben's extraordinary adventure at Wonka's Chocolate Factory became another enchanting story that Grandpa narrated, reinforcing the invaluable lesson of kindness and sharing. Remember, dear friends, as we bid goodnight to Ben and close this whimsical chapter, it's not just about the chocolates or the magical adventures, but it's the act of sharing that truly makes a difference. And as Ben would tell you, the best adventures are those that bring joy to others too. With this heartwarming thought, let's tuck ourselves into bed, dreaming of our adventures and the joy we can share. Good night, dear ones, may your dreams be as sweet as Wonka's chocolates and as big as Ben's heart. Thank you for joining us on this enchanting journey. If you enjoyed tonight's story, remember, the magic doesn't have to end here. 
craft your own adventure with Tailbot by visiting tailbotaicom create. And as a special treat, use the coupon code TAIL99 at checkout to get your bedtime story for just 99 cents, instead of the usual $2.99. Sweet dreams and until our next tale.